Okay, not for the first time, I am going to now start the Shish Michigan game once again. Um, obviously, you get the areas that I had. I'm going to try to do it quickly. I don't tend to get past turn two or three, but just to zip through what I can. So, I think the first thing that I've been doing is moving these units from here into there. Although, what I'm going to do this time, I think, is. Well, I move those into there and then stack these up into there, giving me 8, 16, 24 units. I mean, you'd need four of those just to get a one to one. Um, putting a sort of defensive line across here, I have to take out more of these urban hexes, really. I'm actually just going to move these back here, although that's not what I did before. Okay. Uh, the comment I made at this stage was I was thinking of putting the, giving the MS for front some um, motorised units, because I do have the little unit the counters for them. And it would have come in nice and handy at this stage if these were motorised units. Um, I'm still sort of flexed about the notion that. Um, they don't have a movement for some reason. I'm still sort of perplexed to some extent um, by how infantry actually move around in the modern, modern world. I mean, surely they don't walk everywhere. Do they, do they get the bus? Or is there no such thing as infantry that walks? It would seem pretty clear that they'd all be motorised, even if it was just a bus or a lorry. Um, but anyway, they're, they're, they, 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 they walk. So I'll end that turn, moving swiftly on. Trying to get as much in as possible, I think. Now, this is where I went on last time, but um, I think the air combat is now done. So we've got some air units here, and I'm forever deciding where to spend them. Now, I'm going to actually try a one to one here first. So that gives me, I'm only going to, I've got two airs, two air structures that I could go on there, but I'm only going to commit this. That's four against two, four. So that's one to one, they're doubled up, so that's two to one. I don't expect to eliminate him, but I keep eliminating him otherwise, but I expect to fatigue him. Um, so let's just see. And it does look as though, and I've actually got my tracking code in there, um, that was a defender retreat. So, although you can't see that, and I thought I'd turn the tracking code off, it doesn't make a lot of difference. Um, that unit has retreated, so he's come off the road there, over to here. Now, what you'll see, is that he's got a fatigue factor of three. If you look at the mouse over it, it goes to infantry 2N03. That basically means he's at 30% reduced strength, which is sort of good for me. Um, now I'm going to use the second airstrike, so you can see there's only one airstrike left. I'm going to use it on this weaker unit, I think, here, because this one's more likely to, to get away. Um, as you can see, I've only got one unit left, so it's three against two, so it's six against two. This is three to one odds, so that's actually not that bad. Um, and that was a. I um, can't really see, I'll just top, can't see it. In it. Over here, I can just about make it. I've got the top half of that, that's going to be a defender retreat. Um, so, back to the game. And. Yeah, I mean, you can see that that defender retreat has caused quite a nice little gap in that line. I'm not sure that I could, I mean, this would be a zone of control, so I wouldn't be able to do anything more with that. But, because it's not, I could probably move straight in here and, and get in there. I'm not actually going to do that. Maybe I could. Um, I don't I'm going to. I'm just going to do whatever the hell. No, that, that, these are infantry units. So what we've got here some armour. 
And these are mechanized. Now, I put these mechanized units in after I realized that they had some mechanized units when I looked at the video. There's a video in the down sort of below when you look at the game in its sort of unplayed state, in its sort of reference state, um, and, and you can see these things. So I'm getting through there. I'm not sure how much movement. I mean, can I get into there? Yes. I mean, that's quite nice. I mean, to be quite honest, I'm playing like a war game in there. This is not how I want to be playing, but I just thought well, that's just too nice an opportunity, and it's pretty stupid, really, because it's just asking now for, um, for, for, for it's giving the, the, whoever they are, the, the other people, the Free Syrian Army and Al Nasra, uh, the rebels, a chance to completely surround this unit and, and destroy it. Brilliant. I'm so clever, but I think I might be able to do. Let's see, I can't even get these units in there. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, I what I can do. What I'm going to try and do now. This is my artillery. I'm going to try and fire on this unit. I want to get this unit to retreat. I've kind of got myself in a pickle. Um, now, I have other units around, so I've, I've sort of committed on that, but I'm going to, I'm just going to fire this artillery on it. See, I could fire, I could, I could sort of engage all these other units, but I think they've got some movement left, I don't want to do that, so fire the artillery, and um, I'm not sure what happened on that, but back to the game, they're still there, and they've got one fatigue, so that wasn't really a brilliant a brilliant game, but you know, I, I've still got the options to attack that now with its one fatigue, maybe I should have done it all in one go, but that's something else. I think what I'm going to try and do is Let me just reload that now just to see what sort of state these people's um so he's, he's got three movement points left apparently. I did take this unit out here. Hmm. So I don't want to be tacking across the river because I can't, or into this city. I mean that is going to be a heavy stack. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to I'm going to leave him there. I mean, these are two heavy stacks in the urban. They're not, they're not really punching out of that. This is a bit weak, but um, and units. I think I'm going to commit on this because I just don't want to leave this guy sort of isolated like that. Um, let's just see what happens. So, I can almost get the, the advance in on that, which will, which will drag it out. I, I don't know what the odds are on here 6, 12, 18, 24 to 4. Um, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6. That's pretty good he's I can't think. Um, yeah well I got him I got a um, got a result on that I think the defender retreats um, so I'm all stacked up in there and did he retreat or was that so I moved in from there moved in from there there I think I got a defender eliminated now I would have had surrounding hexes on that so that's yeah, sort of quite interesting. So I, I don't really have the same sort of problem of him being completely surrounded, and that was not in an urban hex. So I did get pretty good odds. Um, and just for the hell of it, I'm going to take this unit out here. Um, I'm really committing early on my attacks, um, which to some extent probably makes it a more interesting video. Um, back to the game, so I've won on that. Um, and now he's got four in there. I'm 
just going to attack this just for the hell of it. Um, I've only got one more unit in there. So, attack. Okay, so that's sort of done. Um, let's see what it sort of looks like. So I didn't win that. Uh, he was fatigued, but so am I. So you can see there that that was a draw. So I've actually got a fatigue on that unit. These units don't have any fatigue because they won. These units don't have any fatigue because they won. So I didn't do very well on that, and I've got a fatigue. It doesn't really matter. Um, he's got fatigues. He's got over here three fatigues. He's lost a couple of units, uh, he lost that unit, he lost the units in there, so already they're, 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 they're pretty decimated um, to end the turn. It's actually working, it's gone to turn two now, so I think he doesn't really have much choice other than to Defend and dig in. Conscious of the time. And I think that's pretty much what they're going to do. I mean, that's pretty much about as good as they're going to get. I mean, the whole idea of them doing a preemptive strike anywhere, I mean, I didn't really think it, so I've got to think quite quickly. But I don't think they had any choice. These units are just too tough. Now, historically, they did do some sort of feigning actions against their, their battalion HQ. Um, but I think that's just a bit too sort of bitty, sort of tactical. Um, you know, this, they, they are defending. And I think they're going to get wiped out, so. Now, I'm going to see if I can wipe this unit out. I mean, we know that they've got some fatigues. There's four of them. I'm just going to send in the one unit because they have got some fatigue. And I didn't win. I got an exchange. Now, you don't get an exchange with aircraft, but um, they will now be at fatigue level four. Which means they're 40% down. Um, I should use both aircraft on it, really. Um, we're going to move this unit into there to get that space. And I'm going to try and take this hex out here, I think. Um, but I'm also going to. Try and I'm just going to spend a couple of turns just firing my artillery. I want to see if this artillery can do it on its own. So I'm firing my artillery into that, um, and I don't know what happened there. there you know, they're, they're still there, but so they're now. Fatigue one, so that, that caused them some fatigue, and I'm going to send in the remainder of this air, air power into there. Um, I haven't got sort of a minute left, so I'm going to try and keep it quick. No, 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 Okay, so airstrike. Select a unit. Attack. Back to game. Okay, now back to game. And what happened? They retreated. And they must have retreated that way because my retreat was are quite good. Now that means I'm going to put all of this stuff into here, apart from that. And, and then I'm going to move on to the end of the turn. Now, to be quite honest, realistically, I'm not sure. To be quite honest, I, 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 I do feel like I'm going to do two things here. 30 seconds, so I'm going to pile everything against that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, these people look like they're active, but they're across a river because I haven't got that rule in yet. So I've got to ignore those. Um, attack. This is pre Syrian army attack, and 
they probably got attack and retreat, which totally sucks because now.